What's going on guys? Tower number nine here and I just wanted to do a quick video discussing my experiences at the Star Wars Unlimited TCG Community Celebration event. Um, and first off, I want to give a big shout out to the Fantasy Flight team that was involved in putting on the event. Uh, and I don't know who exactly had the idea to run this, but I thought it was super fun. I've been involved in tabletop games for a long time now. Um, and that includes both games by Fantasy Flight and those also from other manufacturers. And I thought that this was a really, really fun event. Um, and one of the most, one of the coolest and most impressive, like early marketing type things that I've seen for any title, honestly. Um, you know, I, I was familiar with kind of past FFG uh, spoiler seasons and marketing. And, you know, they, they would do, they would do some stuff. Um, they they would show some preview cards. You know, I remember back in the day when I was doing the uh, the 40K Concast, I think at one time we had some preview cards uh, for our podcast for that. And, you know, there is there is some stuff like that, that they were doing, but the level that they're taking it with Star Wars Unlimited is just, it's, it's an entirely different level. It's way more impressive. You can tell they're putting a ton of thought into it. You can tell they're putting a lot more effort into making this game succeed. Um, I had I had a really great time. I thought the event was a lot of fun. The um, the FFG staff who were there, not just the designers and people involved in making the cards themselves, but also people involved with marketing and with events and stuff like that. And uh, some of the more like support staff and like community type people, they also seemed really passionate and knowledgeable about the game. It did not seem it did not at all seem like oh yeah. You know, you have the designers who actually understand the game, and then you have other people who are just sort of there because it's a game that their company is making. No. Uh, everyone that I saw there from Fantasy Flight seemed to have, you know, seemed to have considerable knowledge of the game. Now, you know, of course, some some probably more than others, but it was definitely, it definitely did not feel like the um, like the event was sort of a formality or something that people were doing to tick a box on some sheet. It seemed like it was something that people were doing because they were genuinely passionate about this game and really wanted it to succeed and were really, you know, pulling out all the stops. So, you know, at the event, um, you know, there were there were a few different things that happened. So the big one was they did the five hour live stream that took place on uh, that, that that took place on Saturday. And during that live stream, they uh, gave a surprise announcement revealing the new Twin Suns format, and then had some gameplay of that as well as some other stuff. And we ended that stream with the uh, very, very uh, exciting announcement of the two-player starter characters for set two with Moth, Gideon, and Din Djarin, the Mandalorian, as being those starter, those two-player starter characters for the next set. Um, which also, you know, answered another question that I actually had, which was, you know, are we going to see a two-player starter for every set? So I don't know about every set, but at least for set two, it looks like we're going to have one. Um, they also, so they gave the content creators that were there, they they gave us a, you know, generous helping of swag. So we got, I think the most exciting part was cards. We each actually got a booster box of Star Wars Unlimited TCG Spark of Rebellion, that first set. Um, there were also the there were also the two player starters and a play map with the art from It Binds All Things, as well as a bunch of stuff from uh, Game Genic. So you know I have a Game Genic deck pod now, and I have some of the Game Genic tokens made for this game in particular, and some of their cool sleeves, uh, the art sleeves for Luke and Vader, as well as some different sleeves that have kind of Star Wars Unlimited and then either red or blue accents. Um, and I'm actually going to be I'm actually going to be making some further videos where I show off uh, show off some of these things directly and talk about um, talk about them and you know strengths and weaknesses and stuff of the different Eogenic products. Um, but yeah, that's um, so that was that was all very cool, really generous of them. We also got like some pins with the aspect icons, I believe, and a fancy initiative token, um, and. You know, we we opened up the uh, we opened up six packs uh, and played some sealed. So I, I played some sealed gameplay there. I actually ended up making a. Oh, we also had a uh, Luke Invader, which I think is the same promo version that we see we have seen at Gen Con and some of the other events where they've been doing early previews of the game. Uh, so we did a a sealed event where we were allowed to use that Luke Invader. I ended up making a. Um, 
I ended up making a command Vader deck, um, which I thought was pretty cool. Though I had a few games against a uh, a few games against a fellow content creator who was using a strategy that was just too aggro for me, and he uh, he got me once with Sabine and once with Leia. So that that part was not that part was not the uh, the finest hour for my deck, but I performed better against uh, less aggressive opponents there. Had some uh, cool cool gameplay with some of the new cards as well. Unfortunately, I did not uh, unfortunately did not record those games, um, but I am I am working on getting a setup that will allow me to do um, allow me to record games for the uh, for the future and hopefully have some in person gameplays uh, to be added to the channel in a bit. Um, Probably more towards the. I, I, I'm hoping to do that recording once the game actually launches, or maybe even at the um, maybe even at the pre-release events. Um, I know there's at least one pre-release that I'm going to be attending, and hopefully I'll have my setup ready at that time. And there will be people who are okay with being recorded, so that should be that should be interesting. And yeah, so so there was some sealed gameplay, and so it started out being a little more organized with the sealed gameplay, and then. Uh, people sort of started doing different stuff. So there was the opportunity to talk to or interview some of the designers. Um, there was the opportunity, or other members of the FFG staff as well, I believe. There was the opportunity to um, play some Twin Suns if people were interested in that. So some people opened up more of their more of their packs than the ones that they had used for the initial sealed component of the event and played some Twin Suns. Um, and there was also there were some people who organized some drafts there was really just a lot of different stuff going on also people just talking about the game with uh ffg staff and one another um yeah overall overall it was very fun uh i think one of the funniest moments but one that was also really illustrative of how passionate some of the people are for the game is that after you know after the event i had i had gone back to my hotel room and uh recorded a bunch of um recorded a bunch of YouTube shorts uh, with those quick thoughts on all the new cards that we saw at that event. And, you know, I, I was uh, re relaxing a bit, playing some other games and stuff. And then, you know, late in the night, I thought, you know, I'm going to go down to the lobby and see if anyone is still there playing. Because there have been some people that were saying, you know, after, hey, after the event, you know, after after they close like the event space or whatever, let's go back and do some drafts and stuff in the lobby. And I was like, oh, okay, let's see if that's still going on. And it was very, it was like early in the morning. It was like two or two thirty a.m. So I'm I'm going down there and I was like, you know, people have probably gone to bed, but maybe there's going to be like a few people there still uh, still engaged, and I can I can see what is going. Well, I, I will say I got that totally wrong. There were probably something like twenty people there, including several of the FFG employees who had uh stayed up uh stayed up doing a bunch of drafts and playing the game more and to me that was really indicative not just of how excited the, uh, not just of how excited the community is about it but also of sort of what i was saying before about how the ffg staff actually cares about this game and is excited about playing the game and is not just here to check a box or here because their boss told them to go and do this promotional event or whatever no they had uh there were multiple staff members that had stayed you know, many hours past the close of the event, up until like two or two thirty a.m. You know, playing games, drafting, and whatever. Um, so that is uh, that's something that I thought was quite telling about the passion that uh, the passion that some have for uh, for this title. So yeah, overall it was overall it was really exciting, and uh, I'm going to. I I did not open up all my packs, so I still have I still have several packs, and I'm actually I'll probably be doing some opening content here for this channel when I have a kind of better, more controlled, like, setup for lighting and so on. I need to, I need to experiment with a few things and, uh, find some pieces for my tripod. But, um, once I get, once I get all that set up, I'm hoping that that's going to allow me to get some high quality footage of some pack openings and I can go into some kind of sealed tactics and stuff as well for that. So hopefully that's going to be some, uh, some interesting content for the channel. But, uh, yeah. Just thought I would give a quick update on what the event was like. Overall, I was uh, overall I was really impressed by it. I I left I left the event feeling, you know, I was already pretty optimistic about this game, but I felt even more optimistic uh, given what I saw at the uh, at the celebration of it. And um, I also, you know, uh, I also perceived very high confidence and enthusiasm from the staff just in some of the some of the stuff we were talking about. Um, you know, I, I had the opportunity to talk to some of the designers, and it became 
very apparent that they, you know, people have talked about, oh, you know, they're already working on like sets well in the future. It was very apparent that that was true. You know, in some cases they had specific things to say about like, oh, you know, I, I was talking to one designer who mentioned that, uh, you know, he was especially excited about like set seven, I believe, and stuff like that. And additionally, there's some, some uh, additionally, I had, uh, I had talked a bit about you know, uh, future events for the game and what those are going to be like. And, uh, you know, I was joking with, uh, I was joking with someone and I, I think it was, uh, I think it was maybe, I think it was maybe Corey. I don't remember who I was joking with. I think it was maybe Corey about like, man, I have no idea how you guys are going to top this one. And, uh, it, it seemed to me that Corey was very confident that they were in fact going to be able to, uh, going to be able to top it and have some even more impressive events in the future of the game. So, you know, that made me excited to see, excited to see what's going to happen and, uh, what the, what the big events and tournaments and stuff for this game are going to look like overall. I am, uh, yeah, overall, I am, you know, even more hyped as a result. And hopefully we will also have some, some cool content for the channel coming up soon with some of the, some of the stuff I received at the event. So yeah, uh, in closing, overall summary event was great. Uh, big shout out to Fantasy Flight for inviting me. I really appreciate it. And uh, I thought I thought they put on put on an excellent event. And I was uh, you know I was I was very hyped up. I'm not sure if anything like this is ever going to happen again. You know I don't know if they're going to be doing things like these for other sets. I think when the game first comes out, it's kind of a different thing. But um, I was I was really I, I was really excited to to take part in this one. I thought it was a very cool event, and hopefully it's going to lead to some uh, some extra cool content for the channel in the uh, in the future weeks as well. So yeah, thanks again. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you're interested in checking out some more content, you know, feel free to feel free to subscribe to the channel or don't if you don't want to see the rest of my content. You know. I uh, I am not one of those guys who shouts at everybody to smash the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel after every video. My view is, uh, you know, if you if you like the channel and you want to subscribe, great. If you think this video is okay and uh, but you know you don't want to see me talk a bunch more, well, also great. You know, it's your it's your call. It's your YouTube experience to curate. So yeah, that's gonna do it, guys. Thanks again for watching. We'll be back later with some more Star Wars Unlimited content. I will catch you guys later.